It's story time! Hi, something went weird there. Hi, what it something is. went weird there. Hi, I, what it... I forgot to mute. That's the first thing we've always got to find out. Is Ashley functioning as a human being? Hello, friends. How are you? Oh, another mystery to solve. I've got a massive mug of coffee. <sighs> to keep me going. Little Crow says, got to keep my murder calling streak. Yes, you. Little Crow is the best at it. So excited I could poop, the Jigglypuff says. Don't poop, Jigglypuff. Don't poop. How are you feeling about that music? Is it too loud? Is it too loud? Is it loud, loud enough? enough? <laughs> Everybody's got their fucking opinions on the level of the music. There's been a murder, a murder. I'm just glad you're here with me. And you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me right now to paraphrase Jay-Z. It's time to solve a mystery. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Get your fucking magnifying glasses out because we are going back to Cabot Cove. We are going to the home of Jessica Fletcher, the lady who wrote the murder and has a little pinched face. Okay got a hype train don't know what that is but fuck it let's go to marble murder in the maples it's canada we're going to canada oh she's got a fat pal that's why i, I feel seen when little your maple syrup sugar bush maria's maple syrup sugar bush is fucked oh my god this is a setup based mystery yes 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 i want to go to maple hill i want to go in your shed and see your maple syrup sugar bush sugar bush sugar bush sugar bush sugar bush oh mark ashman would get his face sat on okay let's go to the maple hill sugar bush Oh no, he's boiled in sugar! This happened in Midsummer Murders once when he got crushed in a print press by a cheese wheel. Mark says there are no scratches around the lock or any indication this was tampered with. Well, then at least we know the door wasn't forced open. You can force my door open, Mark. Don't. I'm getting sexually aggressive, I'm so sorry. Right, bucket. Tap. Bucket. Douse the flames. Yeah. It's Nature's Gift food bottle of maple syrup. Why would a competitor's product be here? I'll send it back to the station to get it checked out. Done. Based on these scratches, it looks like someone pried the window open to get in. Screwdriver. Is that a screwdriver in his back? Oh no! Ashley, don't make me come in there! Oh my god. Thank you, Shona. <sighs> For that. <laughs> a wee, a tiny wee bit. Oh my god! I'm not, I'm not telling anybody how you do that anymore. It's too loud and frightening. Okay, that's my maple tree boy. I use it to make the holes in the trunk when it's time to tap the tree for sap. Maybe the murderer used it because it was near at hand. If so, it could indicate that this was a crime of opportunity. As you like it, yarn shop pun. Something's wrong. <gasps> Something's happened to Gerald, hasn't it? Sally's haggard. Oh, for fuck's sake, her yarn shop's a fucking mess. Right, I need to know your early predictions of who done it, who killed the guy who drowned in the maple vat. So far, we've got the fat woman and Sally and Mark. Okay, Barky's going straight off the... Hot Mark didn't do it. The sheriff didn't do it. It's always the hot ones. It is always the hot ones. Mind that time we went to that village where the guy was wearing the green purple neck with the, the green purple neck? The green turtle neck. The haggard woman. You're a wizard. Come to my yarn shop reshell basket. You're such a good detective Ashley. Well done. Thank you Barky. <laughs> That's my favourite one. Maple Hill. Midnight tonight. Time to add some spice to the recipe. I'll make it worth your while. This must be the note Sally found in Gerald's pocket. The top page is torn off Mark. So the guy who wrote this was trying to cover his tracks. Guy? The handwriting looks more like a woman's to me. Okay, Louise Try says drugs. Little Crow says it's hotting up. Isla says they're dogging. Oh my god, fucking in the wool shop, fucking in the wool shop. This is getting hot. One of the <gasps> he was working for the competitor. A hut and Mark should bang. Yes, they make a hot this couple. Oh, there we go. They're going to search and our business take without a, look a warrant. The place while we're at it, I assume. Imagine Joanne had been like, oh, there's that woman who cleans up your house if you leave her. 
I'm gonna go and hide in the cupboard. This is technically just a cleaning game. I, Fikaman says, I pure love that the game doesn't even try to invent loose reasons to make it appropriate for Jessica to do her nosy. No, sh they don't. They just let you rummage through people's shit and she's like, oh, let's just look at stuff. I'm just not seeing it. Guys, I can't see the elephant. Elephant on the right under the table. So fucking is. Got that elephant, guys. Now we're looking for the note. I'm Ashley, don't get angry. It's not their fault. You're shit at the game. Time to puzzle. This is where I showcase my brilliance. One thing's for certain, that's definitely the notepad that the note Gerald received was written on. Oh, do you think Joanne and Gerald were shagging at the mud hut? Lindsay, I couldn't work for the police because I wouldn't be able to stop myself from, like, kicking a nonce in the face. He's done it up the mud hut. <laughs> Notes? No, of course not. Can we just appreciate her contouring? Finger bang to the mouth. He just appeared to her nowhere. <laughs> Constable Derp. Oh, this is a new theme. This is just lifting things out of the box in order. Oh, now, now she says, You're right. This isn't maple syrup. It looks like maybe red dye? It's a receipt from last night for the coffee shop. You're such a good detective, Ashley. Well done. Thank you so much, Magic Man UK. I feel like a good detective. There, what She's I a child. <gasps> what happened? What happened? The lady in C says trash her coffee shop and then shit in her kettle. Unlock the register. Steal her money. What's in the trunk? Ooh, yay. Select pairs of items that go together. This feels like a detective -y thing that you need to think about hard. A battery? <laughs> this must be the scarf that Gerald left here last night. Gerald's scarf's the name of a famous artist. That's funny. Gerald's scarf is the name of an artist from who did the, whatchamacallit, the, the paintings on Pink Floyd the Wall. I double clicked by You're guess. such a good detective, Ashley. Well done. Thank you so much. Um, Bladeon 5. I appreciate that. Melanie, do you have any idea why Gerald would have a picture of you in his car? He liked to send me cum tributes. He did? I guess I should tell you that Gerald and I were having an affair. <gasps> he came by the coffee shop last night to break it off. Why did you do that? Chief, Jessica, you're back. Yes, we are, Maria. Maria there was a Olson, dead body in your I'm setup. You under <gasps> for the murder of Gerald Morgan. Why did she get under arrest? What are you talking about? What? It makes perfect sense. Does it? You have motive, defending your business interests against sabotage. You She's know. Jessica Fletcher's pal. It's never After the pal. Broke... How did he get I can't believe I'm hearing from this. the affair to this? I'm not very impressed with your line of reasoning, Chief. Neither am I, Jessica. Starters. Mark, you're beautiful, but you're a fucking idiot. Uh, sure. And now she's not under arrest. I don't understand how he made the jump from Gerald is having an affair with the child who runs the coffee shop to, oh, it must have been one of the women he wasn't sleeping with who murdered him. I'm on fucking fire. Look at me clicking and finding all these syrup bottles by myself with my own eye holes. Holy shit, I've only got one to find and I found it. <gasps> I did that by myself. Like we got all the it's my boyfriend. You know the He's like Who did break in Post Malone if he wasn't a pop star. Oh no, I hate these ones. Oh, it takes so long. Okay, I'm gonna fucking blast through this. I'm gonna finger blast through it like the Cabot Cove Sheriff. Melanie Young! The vehicle's registered to the child who owns the coffee shop. It was a kid. She I did it. Finger bang! I'm placing you under arrest for the murder of Gerald Morgan. <sighs> Mark just arrests everybody. What? Mark's a fucking dingbat. Oh, right. Ice pitcher in the fire. Get the hammer. Smash the piggy bank. Get the note. Melanie, where did this envelope come from? Just before Gerald got to his car, 
He took a wad of cash from an envelope and threw the envelope on the ground. I've heard enough. Joanne Marshall. Smell my finger! For the murder of Gerald Morgan. He's now just arrested every what? woman. That's He's arrested process. every single woman. Oh, for pity's sake, Chief, you have to stop jumping to conclusions <laughs> like this. I think it might be him. Who said right at the beginning that it was the sheriff? And I dismissed it out of hand. So Nanonic and Barky said from the get-go that the sheriff was the baddie. And I think he might be right. Because I don't think it's any of the women. It's either the sheriff or Officer Derpy. Looks like this note was written by Miss Marshall. Let's compare the handwriting on this note to the one given to Gerald. Oh, okay. Find the one identical pair of letters on the scraps. Find the one identical pair of letters on the paper scraps. It is. Did that one myself. Got that by myself, guys. Just can't take credit because I done it by myself. Because I done that bit by myself. It's safe to say that the handwriting on the note to Gerald does not match Joanne's handwriting. So it's not Joanne's handwriting. Is it Derp? Is it is Deputy Derp that done it? Other than the sheriff or the deputy, I don't know who it could be. Oh, I really don't want it to be the first plus size character we've had on Murder She Wrote. I wonder if these green fibers could have been come from something the killer was wearing when they climbed through the window. It was Billy Eilish. Mark! There's only one wool shop in town! And it's the guy who was Murder's wife who owns it. I don't know what that wool could mean. Mark, you're such a fucking idiot. Let's go and visit Deputy Derp. Chief, I have good news. My favourite character. My favourite character. I love Deputy Derp. I feel like he's one of the game developers and he's just like drawn himself in it because he wanted to be part of it. It's Sally. Like take another look around to confirm it's that. Sally. It is obviously the mole who done this. But we're still fucking about because Mark is a dingbat. I can't believe I was sexually attracted to Mark at the beginning of this. Like, I'm ashamed. Of How fast did I do that? We found wool and dye. Why aren't we going to the wool shop? Here she is. Here she is. Of course, Sally. I'll have it was Sally. She did it. She did it. What is wrong with the two of them? M more like murder she fucked. No, we've not got better. This is just a terrible mystery. The shoe prints Sally just left are the exact match to the smaller set of prints found at the murder scene. Oh, really? I don't know, baby. Have a rage wank about this later. We're fucking going to see Sally in our wool shop now. A Guilty I as didn't sin. Didn't see you again so soon. Any news on who killed Gerald? You. Yeah. You're saying I lured my husband to Maple Hill and killed him? Yes, Sally, that's exactly what we're saying. I bet you Mark is going to take all the credit for this, guys. I have to help her tidy up her shop before I can arrest her. Chief, looks like bloodstains. Sally must have been hanging on to this sweater until she had the opportunity to get rid of it. So, Sally done it. Can we go now? Sally, I'm placing you under arrest for the murder of your husband. Now smell my time, finger! I'm not jumping to any conclusions, right, Mrs. Fletcher? Right, Chief. We solved a murder, a murder tonight. It was Sally done it, we knew ages ago, but Mark was dead shite at it. Then there was Derpy, the deputy. He had a big head and a moustache too, and I would have shagged him in. I'm Sean. And I'm Ashley. And you can listen to our podcast, Are We Being Unreasonable? On Apple Podcasts. And Spotify. Go to Spotify or Apple Podcasts now and subscribe to Are We Being Unreasonable for great, funny conversations with your favourite comedians. Hi friends, you can help support this channel by going to ashleystoryshop.co.uk and getting yourself some of my cool merch that says like, nice buns, or you're excellent, or nice to meet you. Or you can share it with a friend, or you can like and subscribe, whatever you fancy. Thank you for watching. Can't stop fucking the coppers. That's what I do. I'm a lady detective with a high sex drive.